What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Ranger Talk uh, video. I have a very, very special guest that we'll be chatting with here today. It's none other than uh, musical genius Adrian Benegas. How's it going, man? Thanks so much for joining me. No, no, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Um, I know I, I admire people like you because uh, we can't exist or share our music without you. So thank you very much for doing what you, you are doing. Oh, that's It's a pleasure kind. to be here. Too kind. No. Thank you so much. The, <laughs> the pleasure here is all mine. And um, I mean, you look like you're ready for a, for a live show, man. Are you going <laughs> to you know head out and just start rocking out here? Yeah, we are. Actually, I am looking very much forward to, to start touring. Uh, especially with the with the new album that is coming soon, <laughs> awesome. I know that there are I, there was a lot of wait, <laughs> but uh, I think in in December I will drop some bombs. <laughs> Ooh, all right. <laughs> About cool. it, yeah. We don't have to wait too long then. Awesome. A little bit. A yes, little, little two tease. weeks more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So. Let's go back into the past a little bit. So what, um, how did you first originally discover, I guess, your love for music and songwriting? And then how did you decide on the like, the power and symphonic metal genres? Uh, first of all, I, I must say that I am kind of, although I look like a rebel or, or very, uh, I don't know, fighter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I am kind of shy in some certain way um you know it's since i was a kid i have the need to to go inside me like a introvert uh, like in a lot of introspection uh, i never had too much friends or something like that so i started to make a journey into myself you know mm -hmm. and I started as, uh, and then uh the need to express myself start growing and growing and growing. So I ended up <laughs> being a musician. Um, I think that's the, I don't know how to say the, the source of my decision to be a musician. Okay. It was uh, natural, but at the same time, it was a need uh, to express myself. I always say that if I wasn't, and if I, I've never chose to be a musician. Maybe I would be, I don't know, a painter or writer, yeah. but always in art the because art, I yeah. need that, that. Yeah. I need art to express myself, to, to recharge my energies, to face the, the world in the way I see, you know, it's, and there are some dramatic events that happened in my life, like the separation, the split of my parents, Stuff like that that I started to feel the need to express myself because um, when you are a child, you don't know how to manage emotions. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's like you receive everything and you save it for yourself in your heart, in your soul. Maybe it broke you, maybe not, but you never understand. You never uh, think about the emotions. So it's something that. I discovered that I needed to to understand to to express. So that that that's what I choose music and symphonic metal because um, I think it's the most complete genre uh, because you can you can do a thrash guitar playing there. You can use a hard rock guitar. You can use symphonic metal uh, influences like Nightwish, Rhapsody. Yeah. You can use uh, soundtracks from, you know, your favorite movies. It can inspire you to yeah. put some elements. So I, I chose um, powered metal and, and symphonic because of that, because I can do black metal, I can do trash metal, I can do heavy <laughs> metal and put it together. And then you have symphonic metal. So that's that's uh th i think it's the freedom that the genre gives me that that's what i what i i love to to do symphonic metal 
Yeah, that's that's also you, you can yeah also you can use uh, narrations, uh, cinematic yeah. stuff, uh, ballads, <laughs> so whatever you want, you know. And and my influence, uh, my influences since I was a kid was uh, from hard rock, alternative music, also thrash metal, a little bit of um, new era music like Enya, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Solima, Enigma. Yeah. So Aventasia, Rhapsody, Nightwish, so. I can mix everything and 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 prepare a potion yes. <laughs> of music there. So it's it's like 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 magic, you know, like alchemy. You yeah. mix a, a, all elements and and you have what you do. <laughs> yeah. In my case, uh, symphonic metal. I don't know exactly because, for example, one of my songs, Cadabria, for example, is kinda uh, black metal, like Dimu Borgir or. Yeah. Fredro of Fields. <laughs> right. So I don't know where, where to put my music. But mostly it's power metal or symphonic or I I I prefer I, I always think about it and I prefer to call myself a theatrical metal composer. <laughs> there you go. It fits better, I think, because it's theatrical. I use yeah. narration, I use a lot of tempo changes. It's not like four four straight forward songs. Mm -hmm. Um it's freedom, so I I prefer th theatrical. <laughs> Maybe you can add power metal there, theatrical power metal. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, no, that's true. You know, that's fascinating. I, I never really thought about that before. That like the symphonic and power metal genres really, like you said, you can uh, that they all they yeah, it's, so many different elements, and then you even have yeah, it's very like, vast. It's very open, and and. and Obviously, music is is hard to to put into a a vessel and say that this is this because you can't. I am sure you can't explain me what the hell is Aventasia, for example. Right. Because you listen one song is power metal, then you go to hard rock, maybe yeah, ballad, maybe a, a little rock, bit yeah, of pop. I mean, yeah. It's Aventasia, and that's. Yeah. I think that the the final. Um, you know, the final stage for a musician is to find their unique voice. So fans or listening listener from metal or 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 music in general mm -hmm. can say this is Adrian Venegas, this is Eventasia, this is Rhapsody. It's not like uh it it you know it, to to compare bands and put it everything into a, a the same is it's not kinda assertive. Yeah. Assertive. I don't know if that exists. <laughs> yeah, it's like sometimes the, the I mix finding, it Spanish with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And finding them so, to like a very specific thing. It, it's yeah, like, you know, like you said, it's more, a lot of it, bands. It, yeah, that that came more from industry, music industry, to right. to promote things. So you see, uh, that's just a power metal band, and if you like bands like Rap, so this sort of virus, Sonata, you may like it, like right. like that too. That's that's the the true um I don't know what the purpose of the of tagging bands right but I prefer as I said um to be unique to try to make something with many elements many influences and call myself <laughs> as I said if I had to say something about my music yeah. theatrical metal <laughs> that's perfect no yeah that that fits very well you know I guess the genre is just assist people and like you said like oh if you like these bands then you'll probably like this band too because they have similar elements and you know th that kind of style um so but ultimately yeah i mean i, I like that theatrical metal you know that that fits very <laughs> well because uh, a lot of those bands it, it is theatrical and and like you said there's so many elements like you even have like beast and black now i mean they use a lot of electronic kind of uh, yeah for example music so yeah it, because it, because as a musician you you always try to innovate always try to put your influences no matter where they come from it's or maybe you are a very true heavy metal uh, fan <laughs> and you don't like every other genre that maybe end up into a heavy metal pure classic heavy metal yeah but nowadays uh music is very open yeah that is great to me because you have uh, a lot of options to listen to maybe match with i don't know 80s sounds 
Mm -hmm. And yeah. you can mix it with heavy metal. Like Amaranthi started to do that, I think. Right. Uh, to put electronic music, maybe yeah. a little bit of, of pop. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So it's it's great. Um, it's great to have um, many influences and use them yeah. as a Just tool for your for your to own it. expression. Yeah. Yeah, to fully express yourself. Um, so how did the, the, the first album, The Revenant, how did that come about? When did you decide, was there a period of time where you were just kind of creating music just because it helped you express yourself? But then was there a point where you're like, you know what, I want to put together an album? Yeah, I, I, I waited too much, I think, <laughs> to make an album because I, I started music in maybe 2000. 10 maybe with an other projects okay i've never thought on an album um but i always had the need to make a conceptual album uh you know there was uh, it was like a goal in my musical career yeah. but yeah and after i made a lot of songs singles with Tragul, my my side project i decided that was the moment to to start uh, an album mm -hmm. and and also because I am a old school metal fan so I love uh, physical copies I love vinyls I love even cassettes yeah <laughs> there are ma many bands that are releasing I know, special bundles yeah it's crazy but <laughs> it's awesome it's nostalgic yeah nostalgia pure nostalgia it makes and... me want to buy a, a Walkman so I can just go outside yeah. and buy a Walkman and... <laughs> I remember, uh, yeah, yeah. I remember listening to Megadeth on my Walkman yeah. <laughs> in school. Yeah, I had one as a kid right. too. Yeah, Except great. I times. wasn't listening to Megadeth actually. I was listening to the Beach Boys, but <laughs> when I was a kid, I don't know. I loved the Beach Boys when I was a little kid. Well, I, I listen a lot of different music too. Uh, I don't know <laughs> <laughs> many Latin music too. As a mm -hmm. South American, <laughs> well, I, I. But the the thing is that I. I started. I wanted to to tell a story, mm -hmm. because I love stories. I love concept. I love, for example, Lord of the Rings saga, Star Wars, yeah. and uh, a lot of different kind of writers that use their music, their sorry, their art to express fantasy, but at the same time is metaphorical because they express. Yeah many great things and can inspire you and that uh what i wanted to do with my with, with making albums yeah and i started to to write and started to a uh, very deep journey into myself to look for the for the source for look for what i wanted to say what i want to say uh what i want to express what feelings i want i want to to share with with others um maybe how i see life itself in a metaphorical way because the revenant the, the whole story is took a, pla uh, a place into a death a hell called cadabria mm -hmm. um it's a kind of dantesque in inferno um yeah. inspired in that but it's also about depression because i went through depression you know um for many time for, mm -hmm. for so um i tried to express the process of healing myself because i tried i always in my life uh i always was a fighter uh you know i i've always tried to understand things and face them with the truth with the truth i'm sorry um and that happened with my depression. I started to to say what what is going what is going on what what's the matter with me what's wrong, you know. And I started to write a lot, mm -hmm. and there I find inspiration in my own journey, you know. In my, uh, it took many years, but I. That's why the name of the album, The Revenant, is like. Like you go through your hell, your own hell, your demons, you face them, and then you overcome things, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I started to, to make an album, because I wanted to, to tell a story. 
and I wanted to connect the songs into little chapters yeah. um, of a whole. In fact, the new album is the, the, the second, is the sequel of, of The Revenant. You know? Oh, really? Uh, oh, awesome. Yeah, this is an exclusive uh, news oh, <laughs> that I'm dropping here. Oh, first. <laughs> so, um, and this new album uh, starts when, when, the, when the main character abandoned the, the prison of Cadabria, you yeah. know, and start uh, its own journey into through magical portals, you know, and and it's um, it's like he started to discover a new life, you know, abandoning the prison of Cadabria, what represents depression, as I said. Mm-hmm. Um, and there are many spirits that help the revenant to to understand the value of life. You know, it's it's a different and, and to to put life in a different and higher higher um, level to mm-hmm. uh, of consciousness. So the whole journey from the revenant to this second part is is definitely a spiritual um, and touching fable about overcoming, about knowledge of ourselves, about true soul's bond, friendship, forgiveness, love, thankful, all those simple things in life, but the most important things in life, you know, yeah. it's because I, as I understand life is not about money, it's not about success, it's not about status, it's not about your job, mm-hmm. it's about bond between souls and evolution, help each other to to understand things, to to evolve, you know, to a new level of consciousness. Um, and I believe in, for example, in in the theory of reincarnation. Mm-hmm. I think we 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 chose to come here on Earth to learn things, you know, and that's that's the whole journey of human existence to me in my opinion yeah and that's what what i want to express in the whole the revenant saga you know it's so the, this the second part um comparing to the first one is more light it's more mm. more power metal even more power metal um and it's different because of that so that's the that's that that's is the um why I chose to <laughs> to make an album to tell stories about about how I see life, yeah, and share with others that maybe can agree with me or maybe not. Maybe I change some minds. Maybe under I understand better because someone says uh, I don't like this. I think this way. I it's as I said, it's a journey of sharing, yeah, our, ourselves, our souls, and connect ourselves each other in the whole world. Yeah, you know, everyone has different experiences, but uh, at the end of the day, we're all here, you know, kind of in the same position as everyone else. But, you know, experiences kind of, you know, I guess transform one's uh, opinion or or views of of the world and whatnot. But, you know, sharing that um, yours, you know, can a lot of people can relate, I'm sure, you know, to the stories that you're telling or, you know, you could even help people. Um, who felt yeah, the way that you felt and, and through your music and your stories, it gives them some guidance or, or, or some trust in themselves to to maybe, you know, get better or, 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 you know, do something. So, yeah, I agree. I totally agree. Even um, that's what I said, that the most important things in life is the simpler ones, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. just enjoying your life, enjoying yourself, understanding yourself, overcoming things um and maybe a guy who is i don't know ten thousand kilometers away from you see that and say okay i i can do that too it's the same message that diamonds in the dark for example my ep my ep yeah um that is overcoming it's saying it's enough i have to fight i have to you know to start enjoying life with others, with myself, um, and that's it. It's the same message that the Revenant, but uh, in a different way of uh, expression. It's more yeah. epic. It's more metaphorical. The Revenant than 
because uh, diamonds in the rag is more direct, my strides. Um, but everything I do is uh, has a why, you know. Yeah. Uh, I I have to. I just I have one rule in art in music, <laughs> that is uh, well two. <laughs> First, <laughs> freedom, freedom to do yeah. to express yourself as it is, and and to be honest to know what you want to say. That's that's the, the rules I, I use myself to to make music. Awesome. Yeah, so, you know, you have all these story ideas, all, all these emotions that you want to express. And, and so how do you take all of that and then sit down and, and create, I guess, the music to go along, you know, with the stories that you want to tell? Like, how does your actual songwriting process uh, begin? Does it kind of start with the ideas of, of the story or the emotions and then you do the music or, you know, how does everything um, come together? Well, as I said, when I was a kid, I I learned to use my imagination. So that's the most powerful tool I have for creating, for the creation process. Mm -hmm. um, because I I always, before starting to put one single note on the piano or an instrument, I try to live to the like a movie, you know. Um I start with what I want to say mm -hmm. and once I have that that feeling, uh I try to pull myself into the whole story, you know, like a first person experience mm -hmm. and and see it like a movie. And I start to imagine even how the, the sky was in that uh, when I wrote that. For example, for Kajabria, I I imagine a place with dark stars instead of white stars, you know, yeah. very abstract, uh, very Lovecraft, you must say. Yeah. <laughs> a, a world with, uh, you know, um, like a hell, but uh, very abstract hell. Mm -hmm. And so to express that, I imagined a soundtrack for it. How, how I, I would feel it uh, into music. How I express that uh, image and put it into music. So I, I always start to imagine it, mm -hmm. imagine the song. Then I start to write the lyrics to tell the story, you know, and then I start with the melodies. Um, because I agree with uh, that quote attributed to Mozart that says that the melodies are the soul of, of music and the rest, the chords or whatever you, the arrangement are like their, you know, like their clothes, you, you, you yeah. close it. Yeah. The melody, but the melody is the most important thing here. Mm -hmm. So I start from, from, from the melody, from the imagination. Then I start to write the lyrics like a story. Then I start with the melody and then I try to, express that melody because you know you can have a melody for example a simple melody like beethoven fifth pa 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 for example right. but and and you can arrange it in many different ways you know mm. it and but it's based on what how you see the whole picture you know it's like for example if i want to express a lake let's put a lake uh with trees but you express that in some way, you put some arrangements, but what happens if you imagine it by night instead of day? It's different. The yeah. drums will sound different. It's not, what happens if there are fire and, well, you can use maybe a more powerful drums there, mm -hmm. a double kick drum there. That's that's the process I, I once I have the melody, I start to, to ask myself, is it by night? Is it in winter? Is it spring? Wow, yeah. Are there people? Are there not? Is there a fight uh, between two warriors or not? Uh, is the sky cloudy or not? Because the whole scenery changes the music. It's, yeah. it, you know, I, I, I always seek inspiration in composers like Hans Zimmer, uh, Danny Elfman, yeah. Howard Shore, 
uh, and what they do, they just express image into music. So it's the same for me. I, I try to imagine a whole movie and then I start writing the songs. That's why I talked before about freedom. Because mm -hmm. if you said to yourself, I will make a heavy metal song, you are closing your opportunities to express yourself because you have to use a 4-4 time, you have to go straight, you have to, you need a riff and whatever. But if you have freedom, if you see it like a movie, you express um, how you feel it, mm -hmm. you know? So that's the way I, I, I compose songs. I start with the, as I say, with the imagination, then writing the, the lyrics, melodies, and then I start to arrange. And finally, uh, before recording, I just uh, make a double check if I had to change something in the metric of the lyrics. Mm -hmm. But that's the, the, the last stage. Um, because there are many stages. When you are writing, when I, I am writing music, it's like a meditation uh, process. It's like an introspective journey that can take months, even years. And then you start producing the songs. Right. So it's another stage. So, but the the whole songwriting, it's uh, like I like I explained um, recently, uh, pure imagination <laughs> and freedom. Yeah, wow, that's so cool. The the way you uh, you know describe how the scenery and how the things change can uh, adjust the music and turn the music. It's like you're kind of like a painter of music in a sorts. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Thank you, thank you. No, it's it's as I said, um, the most powerful tool that human that a human being can have is imagination, because you can use imagination even to overcome, for example, things like I said, depression. Yeah. You you start to, like I said, use your imagination to to overcome things. You know, you you can use it and use your mind. Awesome. Yeah. I know you've worked uh, with several uh, guest artists, you know, and, and vocalists and, and, you know, renowned uh, uh, musicians and, and whatnot. Um, what has that been like and, and how do you determine who uh, will suit your project or, or song um, the best? How, how do you make that decision? Well, it's it's funny because I don't look for for one name or something like that yeah uh, usually it the things um comes naturally for example i am watching a video on youtube um for a band and then i go to another video another video, and then i said wow this singer <laughs> wow i need to have him singing of my song because it fits very well what i want to express um for example, it happened with Herbie, Herbie Langhans. Yeah. Um, always, there are one rule when I choose people that is, I have to admire them, you know, uh, they have to inspire me mm -hmm. to choose them because um, I care too much about my music. So I want to, um, I want a vessel, a vehicle to express my music in the best way possible way. Mm -hmm. um, and they do that the, the great singers uh, I have the privilege to work with they all are a very experienced uh, artists so mm -hmm. they um, they know exactly how to express a line how to uh, in, uh, you know how to mix with the song their voice mm -hmm. their techniques because there are many different techniques you know you can sing you can have dry rolls, clean voice. Mm -hmm. And I usually try to look for a singer that can give me freedom. Yeah. <laughs> so I can say to him, I need clean vocals here. I need uh, dry vocals here. So um, I try to, to, to find the more complete, to put it in a way, complete singers. Yeah, that can express uh, freely, like uh, like I said, like theatrically. You know, they they are like actors, and they have to express music. I <laughs> I always uh, see music and stuff like like a movie <laughs> because yeah. I love movies. I love series, so I always compare it to the whole process. 
of myself. So I see myself as a director, kind of, yeah. you know, the writer, you made the script and you go and start to show the the script to the actors and they yeah. do their magic. So this is the same. Um, I choose people that I, uh, I think they can really fit with, 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 with the song I am, uh, I am looking to express. Awesome. Cool. Uh, you know, I know earlier you were talking about um, you're hoping to do some touring um, and whatnot coming up soon or, or, or whatnot. What's the uh, what's like the music or, or the metal scene like uh, where you're located in, in your area? Uh, to be honest, it's kind of amateur. Yet. Uh, in Paraguay, music is not very de developed in terms of industry. You know, mm. uh, there are cool people, cool artists working, but it's um, it's still underground, to put it in a way. Okay. Um, unfortunately, um, that's why there is a. I have a uh, issue, a problem, an obstacle to to develop all what I want from here. You know, it's kind of hard because um, we don't have uh, how to say support from we don't have a label here we don't have for example uh, a producer uh, anything so I have to look uh, um, over the world and that's it's the that's what I am very thankful <laughs> with the internet because that tool uh, allows me to to produce uh, top quality productions in terms of music, in terms of mixing, mastering, even expression, as I said, with the singers, with the guitarists, with the drummers. Um, uh, I think I, I've i never been a musician as I am, as I am right now without the internet. <laughs> internet is the it's the most powerful tool I found to to make what I what I do. Awesome! Wow! Yeah, I, I imagine that it definitely helps. So, I, I guess in in Paraguay, is there like a, a certain style of music that's there, or or does no one really? Are are there not really too many just musicians? No, no, no. I I, I am I am talking about rock metal. Okay, so rock metal, uh, Latin music. Uh, uh, Autochthonous, uh, I don't know how to say that the music of our own country, there are many yeah. artists that have an industry, they have uh, uh, support uh, in TV, magazines, you know, uh, there's a whole community, but unfortunately in rock and metal, That's not good. yet. We, no, we are like, I don't know, orphans <laughs> here. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, I must say that I have the privilege to to get listened by many journalists that in, yeah. uh, showed interest in my music. I went to TV sometimes, but the fans uh, are not uh, very into metal rock. So the audience is the problem too, yeah. because we are like a small community of metalheads here. <laughs> uh you know it's yeah. it's true because um because uh Paraguay has uh not very uh huge population mm. the whole country you know yeah. we are like 8 million or and that's it and from that you have to to see how small is the metal community itself yeah. it's like i don't know thousand two thousand people oh wow but not too much it's not yeah. like uh, to have a, a very big industry and yeah. and opportunities and support and stuff and the the media the massive media is not interested because we are like um very underground as i said yeah unfortunately well, well yeah. but we are fighting we, we yeah. are fighting <laughs> there you go you're you're we, leading the charge we, we, yeah i I, I keep pushing. Yeah. <laughs> Someday I will break the, the barrier. Yeah. Yes. I you, hope. 
<laughs> you'll be looked upon as, as like the uh the 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 metal the metal head the, the metal general you know that that you know caused a, a metal explosion in paraguay and everyone loves yeah. it they'll be like oh i hope so i hope so i hope so, <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah awesome so when you decided to be a musician um you you never did you ever like one time ever think about being a singer too or were you always just like no i just want to be the musician and, and not a vocalist uh, i always dreamed <laughs> to be dreamt to be a singer but my voice is horrible so <laughs> <laughs> i just sing for my demos and i'm sorry to all the singers that have to listen to my demos with my <laughs> ugly voice <laughs> i always say take care of your ears before putting play <laughs> It's horrible. Uh, I use my voice to <laughs> to show other musicians how the the lines are, but yeah, not too much. Uh, maybe some. It's it's hard because I hate to study. You know, I am too rebel to sit myself and <laughs> and take a process of study music. Yeah. Like uh, I am self taught, so wow. It's hard for me to sit with a teacher and he showed me and I want to do this and this and this, but he said, no, hold on. We have to, this process first and it's still, ah, so, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's hard for me to, to take vocal lessons. I took once, but it lasted like one or two months and oh, wow. I said, it's enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Even with with piano, I I love piano. I I, you know, one of my dreams was to play Chopin, Mozart, Liszt, uh, Beethoven. Yeah. But I've never just sit my my ass down and 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 study the with learning. a teacher yeah. with a you know yeah. I took six months of lessons piano and then I run away That's it. wow <laughs> it's, it's it's impossible uh i don't know it's a problem, <laughs> it's a I, problem. I, <laughs> yes i i, I had to work on that on that definitely also guitar i i love all the instruments but mm. uh, i'm too lazy to sit myself and <laughs> i don't think it's lazy I don't, I don't think it's laziness i think uh, you have such a like a creative mind to where you, you yeah it's just like you said how if the teacher says do this only but yeah like, it's, but I very, do this. it's like in a box i can't stand in the cage and and, and follow yeah. that steps i i have to look for my my <laughs> my own expression so that's very difficult to me to learn because lessons are uh, like a process yeah. that you have to do some some stuff that's what I, I admire people that finish their career in music, 10 years of, <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's too lot. much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For me, at maximum six months and I am tired of it. And that was, the I end. hate yeah. music <laughs> when I do that stuff. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's like you start to not like it anymore. It's like this. this yeah. Weird. So, so I have to look for my, <laughs> for my path and just follow it. Yeah. No, that's cool. I, I totally get that. Um, <laughs> so you like a lot of the classical music and 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 things like that. Um, a lot of the classical pianists and and those guys. Yeah, the I I love classical music. It's one of my backgrounds. Um, what well, to be honest, as a I think as I just said, I have a creative creative mind. So mm -hmm. I I can see all the styles of music something you know uh if because there are people that only like for example metal rock pop and that's it right and hate other styles but i i i have that um i am lucky to have that skill to see things in no matter if i don't like or like the music itself i can take uh something for myself yeah in every single uh, genre out there. So my background is uh, vast. <laughs> yeah. I, I listen to everything. Some, there is one day that I want to listen only, I don't know, 
Asian music <laughs> yeah. uh, or Egyptian music, music or or soundtracks or metal or whatever. Or ska. I, I usually, yeah, I, I usually <laughs> um, learn music in that way. I, I learn from listening and, and yeah. paying attention to the elements from different composers. I, I take um, inspiration from all the composers everywhere and I do that that learning during my for example my walks i i like to run to go to run to the gym for example in the trail and or in the streets yeah and i usually try to discover new artists um so i focus on it helps me to not get uh tired Right, because I, I because I I travel in my mind with the music and I go forward and yeah <laughs> there, yeah when when you enjoy music it's like uh time flies so that's true yeah I have, that, it, it, that, yeah I have that pr trouble like when trying to to, <laughs> do, to do anything it's like do a, a a run or exercise I get so bored I'm just like I, I, <laughs> I focus too much on like the the run itself or like the 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 exercise or whatever that I'm like I can't do this, I can't. Yeah, yeah, me too. Uh, I forced myself to do exercise because <laughs> you're a better man than I. <laughs> yeah, no, no, because because I am very afraid of hospitals and stuff like that. So I try to keep my. <laughs> yeah. I try to keep my my. Health. That's the reason. Yeah. It's not because I want. Here. Yeah, it's not because I want to. To see myself like uh with muscle and muscle stuff, again, it, yeah. it's because I am afraid of hospitals. <laughs> there's, no, there's zero freedom, freedom in a hospital. Zero. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it's, it's the so, surgery yeah. has to be just like one specific way. They can't. You can't be yeah. creative with the surgery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and also with the vaccines and stuff like that. Yeah. I hate that. So. Yeah. All that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> crazy that's why i go to run and make it society and try to eat healthy food and stuff yeah. like that yeah awesome <laughs> cool. yeah because uh time flies and we are getting old older too <laughs> so we yeah, have to it's... take care of <laughs> of things like health <laughs> yeah absolutely um so you know when you're not creating music um or or exercising and running and all that stuff what else what uh, do you have other passions or there are there other things you, you you like to do video, video games, games. <laughs> switch I, I i get a nintendo switch uh, i also play on steam on origin awesome i'm fan i am fan of horror shooter mm -hmm. shooters yeah and uh, also sports adventures everything lately i was uh, enjoying too much the resident evil saga I love oh, it. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I I am uh, waiting for the. I think the eight. It's in the making at the moment. I I don't remember. I played all of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I played Village. Village. Yeah. 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 I mean, also, DLC. all last. Yeah, all last one or two. Oh yeah. So um. Uh, I started to love uh video games when I was a child, when I get a uh, Nintendo 64 yeah. as oh, a yeah. as a Christmas uh, gift <laughs> with, uh, I, I remember the first game I <laughs> I played being a child, it was a uh, Mortal Kombat trilogy oh, wow. <laughs> because, it, it, because it came with the, with any, like a bundle and my parents yeah. didn't, didn't know about it. So <laughs> they bought it's a, it's a good thing they didn't started, know about yeah. it. <laughs> Yeah. I so, it. Yeah. I think that there started my my passion for horror for yeah. <laughs> for stuff like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> killing zombies, uh, yeah. cutting heads. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With the with the combos. Yeah. Uh, I don't know the fatalities, brutalities, yeah. etc. <laughs> then awesome. I have my second. I I remember perfectly. My second game was uh, Mario. Super mm -hmm. Mario 64 and also difference. Star Wars. Yeah, <laughs> but I have enjoyed it. <laughs> You're probably like, why um, can't I like just cut all these people apart? Like, why do I, I just have to like punch them? Yeah. <laughs> Mario, yeah. You're like, what is this? Yeah. Yeah. Where, where is, yeah. 
why I am friend of a toad of, of a... <laughs> yeah what the heck is happening here yeah <laughs> no it's it, but it's amazing Mar Mario is very magical and yeah. there's the soundtrack is amazing I mm -hmm. think in sort of a way video games inspired me to get to be a musician too because of their magical soundtracks yeah. uh that's yeah, true. and and with the experience. with the evolution of yeah, and the, with the evolution of technology, uh, they started to use real orchestras. Yeah, for the like like real soundtracks. Oh, very, yeah. It's yeah, a big production. Which is the, fantastic. The, yeah, the orchestra. Fantastic. Like you said, yeah, and it's really cool yeah. because I love movies also like a lot. But you know, a movie, it's like you're you're kind of the passive viewer you know what i mean you're like yeah. watching it happen but in a video game it's like you're in it you know you're yeah. part of it and you can you lose yourself music. into the yeah yeah it, right. it just you get that full experience and um yeah yeah you live it <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely and and also now with the vr for example you you completely <laughs> enter into the that that's a little scary dangerous <laughs> yeah, yeah pretty dangerous <laughs> oh man i've never tried one i i i am kind of curious about it i've never tried one but i'm afraid of it too because uh, i can you submerge yourself into it and you can forget about your real life you yeah. can go into video games and start playing for hours and hours oh, and yeah. Even without it's... VR, right? I mean, there's times <laughs> yeah, you that's true. For hours, and you get so involved in it, and then it's like you look at the time, and it's like, oh man, it's five o'clock <laughs> in the morning. I have to go to work. Hours, and I didn't even sleep. That's true. I, I I had to erase one of the games because of that. You know, really? I I started to play uh, Age of Empires. You know oh, wow. that. Yeah, that. And I game. started to freak out with that. I started to rank myself, you you know, the ranking, and yeah. you, you you join to other guys playing. And there was, okay, it's 7 o'clock, I had to work. Oh, my God. And I, I went to work without sleeping, and it was dangerous, very pretty dangerous, yeah. even without without having lunch. Or, or oh, my God. You, yeah, you fly, the time flies, yeah. and you lost completely your, your mind yourself. Wow. <laughs> it's cool, but you have to take control of it. Yeah. And one one day I said, "Okay, it's enough. I have to <laughs> to stop this." And I couldn't, an so I, I so yeah, so I have to erase <laughs> erase it for a period of time and and try to. It's it's like a drug, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, it can be. Maybe maybe it can be considered as a as a drug too. It can if be you, addicting. Yeah, yeah, some people yeah. ruin their lives over playing video like World yeah. of Warcraft or. Those games where people just <laughs> spend too much time and money, and, and they forget about the rest of their life. So yeah, yeah, like, that's true. That's true. That's crazy. true. But uh, <laughs> I think yeah. everything started with Sims. You know, Sims. Oh, Sims. That, yeah, that role. Yeah, I think I think that it was one of the first games with a role play yeah. when you have a story and you have to develop the character. And if you took this decision, it changes yeah. and the story goes and forever. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Some of those games can just kind of go forever because back in the day, like on the original Nintendo or like Sega Genesis or Nintendo 64, the games, some were longer than others, but they were finite, you know, yeah. the beginning and then there was the end and, and that was it. But then there's yeah. those games where you can just play and play. And open play world games. Hours. Yeah. Yeah, open yes. world games. Yeah, open world, yeah. It's, it's pretty, wild, man. Yeah, it's great, but you have to to take care, be yeah. careful. <laughs> it's true, very true. So cool. So also an avid gamer. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fan of video games. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Cool. So and, yeah, like serious. Yeah, serious movies. Arts. Yeah, it's all connected because. Uh, in movies, in series, in all the stuff we we were mentioning, there is there is a true soundtrack, there is yeah. imagination, there is uh, expression. So it's great. Uh, in fact, I, I I got a lot of inspiration from video games too. Like for example, if you say very 
care of the if you pay attention to the mother of uh, uh, Tragul's mother you know yeah. the song yeah uh the the whole um the whole animation is inspired in a game called Ori Ori oh, and yeah, the, Ori in the Forest. Blind Forest. Yeah. yeah, I love that game. <laughs> that and I tried to do beautiful. something like yeah, yeah. We we took inspiration from it too. So which is great because Ori and the the Blind Forest was amazing in terms of of the story, you know, the the music, the the landscape. Yeah. Uh, the whole game is amazing. Very magical. Yeah. I I I remember finishing it and and clapping myself <laughs> alone in my <laughs> like, wow. like a like a man but yeah great very crazy it's <laughs> funny. Yeah. Well, I mean, you just got so involved in it, you know. It yeah, was, that I, mean, I had to clap. I had to clap. <laughs> wow. Well, I hope the developers of the game are watching this and 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 they they know that your appreciation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a reaction. Yeah. They should use a wow. uh, uh, mother, Tragul, you know, mother, like in, in the next game or something. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that that is one of my uh, life dreams to to get featured on a movie or or video yeah. game. It's, Have you ever thought of? Like, I love that. Yeah, it's as a composer, it would be very, you know, it's a it's a dream goal. Have you achieve. ever thought about or like considered just composing a soundtrack uh, for a pro a project? Not necessarily like them using one of your pre existing songs, but like you create the the soundtrack for a video game or or for a movie or, or something like that. I dream about it, but I I also afraid of it because I think it's too much responsibility. <laughs> you can ruin a a a movie with a soundtrack. <laughs> in my opinion yeah yeah you it's, can make it uh, there are movies that yeah or, you or... Can, yeah you can <laughs> or make it is, yeah yeah absolutely but it's a dream i hope someday i can uh i don't know if i am already capable of it i i have some stuff to learn to still keep learning and evolving and and make uh uh i don't know how to say it more mature can be I don't know if the the, the, the definition of yeah it, you more still feel you ready know for it yet. yeah 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 I have to just still keep uh, experiencing a lot of stuff and I have my own project uh, that I see as movies so yeah in sort of a way is <laughs> I compose for for movies but uh, my own movies Yours. Yes. <laughs> internal movies yeah. Yeah. So maybe but, if, you, if yeah. you had to make a soundtrack for a video game, maybe you'd be like, "This is to, it, it's maybe it's too like I, I have to make it the way that they want it." Yeah, that's it. true. So, that's true. Yeah, know. it's 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 tricky, but um, I think it's the the ultimate goal and dream would be that some producer of video producer interested in my story, for example, The Revenant, yeah. make into a a video game or or movie or series that would be amazing yeah. the whole saga you know the revenant so if someone is watching this and is a <laughs> a video producer call yeah. give me a call <laughs> me too, <laughs> call me too yeah. i'm not i am not that expensive too much expensive so <laughs> we i'll can... act for free you know whatever uh, yeah so uh, call, give give us a call <laughs> yes package deal yeah yeah, yeah. take both of us yeah special <laughs> special price <laughs> yeah, if Hollywood's watching <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, man. yeah that would be crazy like Steven Spielberg just watches my videos yeah so <laughs> Tim, Bar Tim Barton I am talking to you <laughs> pay attention yeah. oh yeah he's an avid fan he watches all my videos yeah <laughs> and my music too he listens all the time yeah <laughs> oh that's awesome man well i it's just impressive what you've managed to create and i love your your outlook on things and and you know your creativity and and love for the arts it's so cool I'm so excited. Um, I know everybody is to to hear uh, the, the the sequel to the Revenant and to, to see what you've been working on. Um, so very very exciting.
No, thank you, thank you. I I am very looking forward to to share it all too, but I have to. It's a uh, a matter of of the label, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we have to to respect their time and 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 so I think it's important to take time to 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 organize things. To there is big news coming, so uh, I, I I'm sure um, in December many of you will be surprised <laughs> in sort of a way because uh, there are many changes that happen it uh positively in my way in my life i'm sorry mm -hmm. uh in my career it's like an evolution so i'm very very looking forward to what future brings to wow. and i hope you all will like as much as the revenant as much as diamonds in the dark as much as i know tragul stuff mm -hmm. Because um, sometimes uh, we, the musician, we re honestly, we don't look for money. We don't ask for money. Uh, it's great if you get the stuff, if you buy it, but the only uh, goal and, and satisfaction we have is when you said, when you express that you like, like you, for example, like when you do your reactions, uh, that's just the um the price you know for us to see that connection with our music that's why i say that i admire you that i i really follow you because uh it's not easy to make stuff like you do we all know that is to put something like you do is pretty hard it's not easy to uh spend time uh editing uh you know it's not like you sit and put play and it's okay and it's, there are a lot of hard working uh, yeah it, it's a lot of hard working um behind so that's yeah, what I, I i i very appreciate this this uh, little talk uh, to know you to finally meet you to share with you with the audience uh, as i said at, at the beginning of this uh the important things <laughs> the human the human connection that's mm -hmm. the most important well, above all all you can say about status about everything that's that's his illusion <laughs> just yeah. illusion cool man well again you are you're too kind and so gracious and i'm also just so happy to finally uh, be able to, to speak with you kind of face to face um yeah <laughs> totally face to face <laughs> Um, yeah. So I'd appreciate you taking your time um, to to talk with me, and um, yeah, I, I wish you the best of luck on on the the new CD and and just all all of your um, uh, uh, creative expressions and uh, adventures. So um, yeah, thank you again, and uh, everybody out there, uh, if you're not familiar with uh, Adrian Benegas and his material, or even if you are, uh, put all of his social media um, uh, links to all of his stuff in the description down below, um, like social media, I'll put links to music videos, uh, stuff like that. So go check that out. Go follow him and, and see what he gets up to. And, and that way you'll know when he, he announces, the, you know, the information on the new album or, or anything like that, updates. So go go check that out. Listen to his music and uh, follow him. And um, thank you all so much for tuning in. And thank you once again, uh, Sir Adrian Benegas. Really appreciate it. I had a, a wonderful time. And um, yeah, that's what I got for you folks. And uh, I'll catch you all next time. Ranger. Bye-bye. <laughs>